Imagine this, it's 1998 and Man City are in League 1 and just finished 3rd, getting promoted to the Championship via the playoffs. Arsenal are 2nd in the Premier League and Leeds are 4th. Wimbledon and Coventry just survived relegation. On today's FIFA 21 experiment, I flipped the leagues. In today's 10 year experiment, I'm going to put the Premier League teams down in League 2 and shift all of the other leagues up. What is up guys, I'm Wanderlust, a FIFA YouTuber. Before we get into the video, 81% of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more FIFA content. Now let's get into the video. So I flipped the leagues, I thought it would be a fun experiment to do at the end of this FIFA 21 journey. FIFA 22 is coming out real soon, so I thought let's do this experiment and let's see after 10 years who is at the top and who is at the bottom. If you take a look at the Premier League, there's Barrow, Bolton, Bradford, Cambridge, Carlisle, Cheltenham, going down Forest Green, Grimsby, Harrogate, Mansfield, Morecambe, Oldham, Salford City, Scunthorpe. In the Championship, there's Wimbledon, Ackerton, Blackpool, Bristol, Burton, Charlton, Doncaster, Ipswich, Hull, Lincoln, Northampton, going down more, Sunderland, they're back in the Championship. We have Barnsley, Birmingham, Blackburn, Brentford, Bristol, Cardiff, Derby, Huddersfield, Middlesbrough, Preston, QPR, Reading, Rotherham, and of course, in League 2, Arsenal, Aston Villa, we've put both Bournemouth in there as well, Brighton, Burnley, Chelsea, if you go down here, Leicester, Liverpool, United, Newcastle, we've put Norwich in as well, Swansea there, and Watford, we've got Southampton. The reason why there's some teams in there that aren't actually in the Premier League is because the other leagues have 24 slots, whereas the Premier League has 20. I put teams in this division here with the Premier League sides that I think can actually battle against them and have been in the Premier League in recent seasons. So if you're excited for this one, guys, be sure to leave a like on this video. I'm trying to aim for 10 likes on this video. And also, subscribe to my channel we're gonna sim halfway through the first season and we're just gonna see how we're doing it is Salford City the class of 92 owned football club who are first in the Premier League Crawley Town behind them, 37 points. Scunthorpe there as well, 34 points. They're going to be playing European football next season. Bolton there, as well as Forest Green, also potentially playing European football. Let's see who's going to get relegated, or at least who might get relegated here. Carlisle, Morecambe, and Grimsby have the opportunity here to actually go down. Harrogate, not too far behind, as well as Cambridge, but it is looking like Grimsby and probably Morecambe are going to go down to the championship. Ports Portsmouth are winning. Portsmouth actually might make it back into the Premier League. Sunderland 2 with 51 points. Behind them, Crew Alexandra, Oxford and Blackpool as well as Peterborough in those promotion spots. Wimbledon, Rochdale and Ackerton could actually go down into League 1. In League 1, it is Reading who is winning it so far with 54 points. Close behind them, Blackburn Rovers as well as Nottingham Forest and Millwall as well as Preston and Derby trying to get in those promotion playoff spots. It is Tramia, Birmingham, Walsall and South End United. United who could be going down at the end of this season. Let's take a look at the big one. It is Chelsea, my team who are winning the league. They're going to get promoted up. I bet you they are. They're going to get promoted up into League One. Liverpool close behind them as well. It's City, Leicester, Spurs, Everton and Burnley who are in those promotion playoff spots who might actually go up. Burnley not doing too badly there. United, Wolves, who else? West Ham, Fulham, Crystal Palace, Newcastle. Wow, a lot of teams that might not go up. If you actually take a look here, I mean the teams that I put in here, Norwich, Swansea, they're still not doing that good. Even Bournemouth not doing too good there. Watford not doing well. It's looking pretty tasty in all the leagues. There's a lot to play for still. We're just going to sim to the end of the season to see which teams are going to be playing in the Champions League next season, which teams in the Europa League next season, as well as who's going to get promoted up into the different divisions. Salford City will be playing in the Champions League next season. Colchester will also be playing in the Champions League next season with Crawley Town as well. Gunthorpe going to have to battle it out to get into the Champions League spot. Forest Green are going to play in Europa League. Barrow didn't do too well the second half of the season. They're getting relegated. Harrogate and Grimsby, who always seem to be going down there, will be in the championship next season. Portsmouth with 100 points will be in the Premier League next season. So it's going to be a good season for them. They can also spend money. All the teams can spend money. So that's going to be interesting. Peterborough as well will be in the Premier League next season. It's Sunderland, Oxford, Hull City and Shrewsbury who will be fighting for that spot in the Premier League. Let's take a look here in the middle of the pack. Fleetwood, Northampton, you know, Crew as well. And going down, it's Rochdale, Accrington and AFC Wimbledon going to League 
one. Reading are going up into the championship. Blackburn as well, and it's Millwall, Brentford, Nottingham Forest, and Derby who are gonna fight it out this season in the playoffs to get back into the championship. It is Tranmere, Stephen in South End, and Warsaw who all have the opportunity of going down. Damn, Birmingham City there with 47 points, Tranmere 29. So as you can see, it was it was it was done. It was pretty much done for a while there. So these teams are going back down. It's Man City who took Chelsea's lead. And they are winning with 118 points here. First place, they're going back up into League One. Liverpool going back up into League One. With Chelsea, Leicester United and Arsenal fighting now to get back up into League One. That is not what I expected to happen. I mean, who would be going down if there was a Vanarama? It'd be Norwich, Swansea and Sheffield going down into the Vanarama League. In the Prem, it is Peterborough winning the league this season with Oxford United second. Bolton, Forest Green and Exeter are in those Euro European places. Salford are obviously not doing well. They are literally 17th from 1st to 17th. That's how you know that Champions League football has taken a big effect on the team. Taking a look at the championship, Brentford are actually winning the league with 71 points. They seem like they're going to be in the Premier League in Season 3. Reading also doing pretty well. They could also see themselves there. Sunderland, Blackburn, Blackpool and Plymouth fighting for the promotion places. Wigan, Port Vale and Bristol Rovers which is expected, who could be going back down to League One. In League One, it is Manchester City winning the league. They look like comfortably like they're going to get into the championship with Liverpool close behind them. It's also Manchester United, Spurs, Nottingham Forest and Cardiff who are fighting for the playoff position. League One here, let's take a look now. Who could be going down? It's Accrington, Wimbledon and Rochdale who could be going down come the end of the season. Derby not looking too hot either. Chelsea is winning it. Come on, guys. We were winning it last time. Can we please hold it together and win it and actually get back into League One. Arsenal, they're also doing well. Second with 60 points. Leicester with 59. Wolves 54. Brighton 53. Everton 51. And West Ham 51 as well. So they, of course, are looking to fight for that promotion playoff spot. And at the bottom here, Warsaw, Tranmere and Southend would be going to the Vanarama League if there was one. Well, it's the round of 16. I don't see any English clubs here. They didn't make it far. So let's take a look at the group stages here. Bolton finishing with a resounding zero. They lost all of their matches. It's expected for that to happen. That is just really sad. Bradford City, same thing there. Losing all of their matches. <laughs> I feel really bad. Forest Green, hey, look at that. Forest Green actually did pretty well. They won one game, drew one, and lost four. So you know what? They got points on the board at least. They actually did well there. Salford City also getting points there. One win, one draw, and four losses. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it into the Europa League. In the Europa League, in the round of 32, it's Liverpool who have made it. Spurs also making it. And guessing correctly, Exeter City finishing last one draw and five losses there we're gonna sum all the way to the end of the season and then we're gonna take a look at how everyone is doing Salford City climbing back all the way up after losing out in the Champions League not doing well with all that pressure they climb all the way back up to win the Premier League again. Forest Green Rovers, who did so well, are going down into the championship. Harrogate as well, as well as Oldham. Oh my word, what the heck? Brentford are coming up, but we knew that was going to happen. Reading also coming up with Blackburn, Sunderland, Ipswich and Blackpool fighting it out to get back into the Premier League. Swindon, Bristol and Northampton going back into League One. Of course, City going back into the Championship with Liverpool also going into the Championship. It's United, Spurs, Nottingham Forest and Millwall who are going to fight it out to get back into the Championship as well. I am hoping that Nottingham Forest can do a mad thing and freaking get in above Spurs and United. That would be amazing. It is Wycombe, Wimbledon, Accrington and Rochdale who are going down next season. And in League 2, it is Chelsea. My boys, they are actually going to be in League 1 next season. And I have a feeling that they're going to go from League 1 to the Championship real quick in one full sweep. So, Leicester City also going to go up. Arsenal, Everton, Burnley, Wolves, West Ham fighting it out. It's going to be Everton, Burnley, Wolves, West Ham fighting it out with Arsenal also going up. It would be Southend, Stevenage and Tranmere. It also, it makes sense. Walsall, Walsall would survive as well as Swansea. It was Dortmund who beat Paris Saint-Germain. I mean, there was no other teams here. They all finished out in the group stage. In the Europa League, who wins the Europa League here? It is actually Real Sociedad beating Olympic Lyonnais, Lyonnais on penalties. In the semi-finals was Spurs who lost out and Liverpool must have lost out. Where did they lose out? Damn. Did Liverpool even make it? 
Liverpool did not make it. Whoa, Liverpool lost to Real Sociedad in round of 32. That is crazy. So Spurs actually the English team that made it the furthest in the competition and it was a Spanish side beating a French side in the final. Okay, that is interesting. Well, we are here now. It's after season two. Let's get into season number three and let us see who's going to be bought, who's going to be sold, as well as who's going to play in the Premier League next season. At the end of it all, it is Brentford who takes the crown of the Premier League. It is Reading who finished second, Peterborough third and Salford City fourth with Oxford United close behind there in fifth. Any other notable teams here? Portsmouth finishing 11th. Forest Green Rovers are now going to be relegated. Bolton surviving relegation yet again. Harrogate, Leighton, Orient also going down. It is Liverpool who win the championship. They're going straight up with Manchester United as well. City is going to have to face off against Blackburn Rovers, Plymouth Argyle and Lincoln City to see who's going to get that third place promotion spot. Take a look here, Gillingham, Morecambe and Grimsby Town are going to go straight down to League One. And my boys are going to also have to battle it out against Wolves, Leicester City and Nottingham Forest to try and get into the championship. It's Spurs and Arsenal who are going straight up into the championship. Boys, really disappointing. I know it was a couple points, but gosh, man. You know, let Arsenal go up above you. Everton are now finally going to go up into League One. Leeds as well. Martin, Aston Villa, West Ham, Crystal Palace are going to be battling it out to get up as well. These are all Premier League teams who are going to try and fight their way to come up. Only three can though. Let's take a look here. Bournemouth not doing good yet again. Tranmere, Southend and Stevenage would of course go down, but they're just going to stay and get stuck there right at the bottom continuously. It's, it's, it's kind of sad, but what can you do? It's going to be a spicy one now because Liverpool and Man United are back up top and probably Manchester City are going to be back up in the Premier League. And would you believe it? Of course, Manchester City winning the league season four. They're back in the Premier and winning it. Manchester United finishing second, Liverpool third and Brentford fourth. Spurs winning the league now. They're coming up 123. They're actually won a trophy well done Spurs and Leicester City finishing second there with Arsenal third Blackburn Rovers Salford and Shrewsbury gonna fight it out now to see who's coming up my guess is Arsenal but who knows maybe Salford can uh, shock a few yes they can they win the entire thing they win the whole league one 123 points West Ham also coming up there 104 points it's gonna be Leeds Everton Wolves and Nottingham Forest gonna battle it out there I think it's probably gonna be Everton but you know what I also have a sneaky suspicion Wolves could sneak it through probably leads with the most advantage here with the 98 points they've been playing really well I think it could be Wolves though but we'll see and Aston Villa are gonna be in the league one next season Watford as well Fulham as well Bournemouth, Newcastle, Sheffield and Brighton gonna fight it out to see who's gonna get into League One. Reading actually made it to the round of 16 there. Well done Reading there, losing 2-1, 5-1 on aggregate against Bayern Munich. But well done, you actually made it out. Liverpool beat Milan 3-1 in the final of the Europa League, taking it back to that Champions League final all those years ago. If you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to slap that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get to 100 subscribers. At the end of season five, here, it is Liverpool who have won the league 94 points with Manchester United 91 points finishing second and City third there 88 points Spurs and then Arsenal Leicester as well so some normality is actually being restored now in season five as you can see Brentford still there Reading Peterborough Forest Portsmouth so there's still a long way to go Newport County Exeter and Leighton Orient are gonna go down in the championship it is Chelsea it is my boys who are actually going to be in the Premier League come next season. Leeds United as well with 109 points going up. And it's Hull, West Ham, Blackburn and Lincoln who are going to fight it out for the promotion playoff spot. In League One it is going to be Aston Villa and Brighton going up to the Championship. Two other Premier League sides fighting their way up, climbing their way up the rank. You can also see here Nottingham Forest, Wolves, Fulham and Stoke are also fighting it out. And look at that, Newcastle United pick up a trophy. They win the League Two trophy there. 119 points, another Premier League side. South Hampton, another Premier League side going up. West Brom, Crystal Palace, Norwich and QPR and Luton are all going to fight that out there as well. And Liverpool who have climbed all the way back up to the Premier League have won the Champions League this season. 
That is very, very well done. At the end of it, it seems like the Premier League sides are starting to come together again. I mean, that's top six positions are all Premier League proven teams with the quality to do that. So let's see what happens at the end of season six. Well, it is Liverpool again in season six who have won the league. City this time finishing second, Spurs third and Chelsea. We made it back into the Premier League. We will have Champions League football again come this season. United finished fifth and Arsenal sixth. Arsenal in the Europa League yet again. Leicester City have now finished seventh. Who else here? Leeds now 11. Portsmouth, Peterborough, Oxford, Ipswich still in this league. That is crazy. Bolton, Carlisle and Forest Green finally going down. In the championship, it's actually Fulham who end up winning it all. They won the championship. Brighton also coming up with 106 points. Aston Villa, Hull, West Ham and Plymouth Argyle are still fighting it out. So West Ham unfortunately did not make it up into the Prem. And they've done it boys. Everton have made it to the championship. It took them a while but finally they are now in the championship. One step closer to getting back into the Premier League. Wolves second so they're also coming up finally. Southampton, West Brom, Watford, Preston all fighting it out there. And in League 2, Sheffield United, a Premier League side in FIFA 21. They did it. They're up into League 1. Swansea City also going up. Norwich, Bournemouth, Sheffield, Crystal Palace and Luton are still there fighting it out to get into League 1. I'm surprised there, Crystal Palace. I thought they would have done better. They have a really decent squad. But let's take a look at the end of Season 7 and see which teams are where. Manchester City won the Premier League in Season number 7. And Chelsea finished second with 87 points. Liverpool with 77 points, their third. Spurs, fourth, 77. United, their fifth. Leeds, sixth. Brentford, who are still in here. They're still in the Premier League. They finished seventh with Arsenal, eighth. Who else here? Aston Villa back in here. Leicester City. Wolves win the championship they're coming up 120 points Southampton also coming up 106 it's Everton West Ham yet again Hull and Oxford who are gonna fight it out now to get into the Premier League next season it's West Brom who are coming up from League One as well as Newcastle they've actually done another in the championship Watford Huddersfield Derby and Bristol gonna fight it out there and Crystal Palace up now into League One let's get to the end of season eight let's take a look will Forest Green Rovers actually get relegated will they ever leave well, who will win the the Premier League next season and who's gonna be in the Premier League next season let's take a look City winning the Premier League in season number eight Liverpool behind them 81 points in second Spurs third Chelsea fourth United fifth Leeds sixth Leicester City seventh Brentford eighth Arsenal are just going down and down and down as the Premier League clubs start coming up and filling those slots they are ninth Wolves are tenth Aston Villa eleventh so that's almost a full roster there of Premier League teams. Brentford, the only one that are not Premier League potential, but they are sitting there at eight. That's good. Blackburn, Peterborough, Brighton. Brighton back in, Southampton back in. That's good. Fulham back in. West Brom going up. Derby also going up now into the Premier League. Exeter, Everton, Bolton and Oxford fighting it out. Oxford have been in the sixth position here so many times and they still cannot get back into the Premier League. But Everton now trying to push themselves back into the Premier League as well. In League One, it's Huddersfield pushing up. Watford also pushing up with Swansea, Nottingham Forest, Rotherham, Birmingham trying to get into the championship. League 2, Middlesbrough going up, Millwall going up. We have Accrington, Wimbledon, Wigan, Cambridge and Rochdale also trying to fight their way back up. Liverpool now win in Season 9, United are second, Spurs third and Chelsea the boys are fourth. And surprisingly, Manchester City are sixth, Brentford still there, who are Blackburn Rovers, Leeds there. Arsenal 10. The two teams who are in the championship in FIFA 21 are ahead of Arsenal. Reading there, Fulham, Brighton, Southampton, Everton there, West Brom. Everton, West Brom and Derby going down. So Everton have officially been relegated from the Premier League. In the championship, it's West Ham. They go down and they go straight back up into the Premier League. Portsmouth also coming straight back up into the Premier League. Huddersfield, Nottingham Forest, Forest Green and Hull City battling it out now to see who's going to come up. Newcastle there are not in the Prem. Middlesbrough Coventry, Bristol, Burnley are in League One and they're still fighting it out to try their best to get into the championship. So they might find themselves in the championship in the 10th season. Sheffield United not even getting up there into the championship come season 10. Crystal Palace, same thing. That is really disappointing. Who is here? Any other teams here who are not? It doesn't look like there's any Premier League sides here. So things are kind of starting to balance out, but I mean, it's season number 10. It's the final season. 
let us take a look at who is in the Premier League in the final season. It is Liverpool season number 10 who have won the Premier League. United there, just one point behind them in second. City climb back up into the Premier League European spots there. Spurs fourth, Leicester City fifth, and Chelsea sixth. Brentford still there, who are not in the Premier League. Peterborough, who are not in the Premier League. Who else here? Arsenal have finished 11th. Wolves and Leeds there in the top 10 spots. Aston Villa back in the Prem. Brighton, Southampton back in the Prem. Reading, who are not in the Prem there. Blackburn not in the Prem. Fulham there. Portsmouth, unfortunately, finally going down. West Ham as well are now going down. They're not a Premier League side. And Nottingham Forest. In the Championship, it's West Brom going back up in Season 11. With Everton also going back up. It's Exeter, Coventry, Huddersfield and Hull all five it out there to get into the Premier League. In League One, it's Rotherham going up with Barnsley also going up, Birmingham, Norwich, Swansea and Cardiff trying to fight their way back up into the championship. Northampton, Tottenham, Oldham Athletic and Walsall at the bottom of the league there in League One. It is Wimbledon who have won it. They're going back up into League One. Cambridge as well. Bristol, Shrewsbury, Swindon, Wigan and Sunderland are in those spots, top spots there. Barrow, Morecambe and Harrogate are at the bottom of League Two. It is Spurs who got to the final but they do not win it. They lose 2-0. No European silverware for them. They lost out in the finals against Monaco. It is Atalanta beating out City in the Europa League final. So City couldn't even win a European title against Atalanta. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to slap that like button. Subscribe for more FIFA content. And don't forget to knock that post notification bell so you always know when I'm posting. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.